Welcome to the very first episode of Keeping It Real. I'm your host, Adam Tabaka, and today we're talking VA loans with Kelly Heseltine. Kelly is a senior mortgage consultant with Prosperity Home Mortgage. She has 10 years of experience serving Maryland, Virginia, and the district. Kelly and the team in Old Town have ranked top in the company three of the past five years. She's always up to date with every new change in the industry, and she provides her clients with exceptional service. So without further ado, I present the one, the only, Kelly Heseltine. Kelly, thanks for joining us today. My goodness, thank you so much, Adam. That's quite the introduction. I got a lot to live up to here. I'll uh, do yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good stuff. Uh, you always live up to it. So, um, so you've been in the mortgage business now for, for 10 years, but give us a little background about yourself and kind of how you ended up where you are today. Absolutely. Thank you for asking. Um, and thanks for having me on the call today, too. This is um, super exciting stuff and something different for us. So I'm glad we're making it happen finally. Absolutely. Um, yeah. So where did I started out as a real estate agent? Um, I actually got my real estate license back in 2007. Um, I had met a woman who was kind of top 30 under 30, and we just jived. And she's like, I need you on my team. Let's do this. So took a leap of faith, left my salary position right as the market was crashing and foreclosures were uh, picking up everywhere and um, headed on over to real estate because that made sense. But it honestly was just the best transition for me. So um, I did that for about four years and then switched over into the lending side. And it was just, again, a connection I had in the office and an opportunity that I really wanted to look into um, and thought it was pretty important to kind of see both sides of the industry as well. This is an exciting um, industry that we're in. And I feel pretty fortunate to have a little bit of that real estate experience on one side. And then now lending is probably where I'll stay, but I really do enjoy it. So, Well, and I'm sure that gives you a perspective that most lenders don't have and an understanding of, of what an agent is looking for and what the buyers are looking for from a different perspective that, that not everybody has probably. Yep, I see that a lot actually. And you know, a lot of questions come through my, um, on the phone and emails and you know, I don't wanna cross lines and answer questions that are so much agent related, but um, it is nice to understand where they're coming from or what these buyers are feeling. And just even being on that agent side when you guys need things nights and weekends, I know what it's like when you gotta get in touch with someone. So I think that's a, yeah, it's a good, good, good little relationship to, to pull it off full circle there. Awesome. And, and you know the area well, you, you've been here for, for quite a while, right? I am a local, born and raised Alexandria. Grew up in Holland Hall, went to Wainwood and graduated from West Potomac and still live in Alexandria. I haven't gone anywhere. Awesome, I yeah. live around here, the parkway, everything. It's, it's a sweet spot. Well, well, you and I have something in common. We both went to uh, the prestigious uh, University of Northern Virginia Community College. So, yeah. Yes, you know. Proud it, alumni. It, very much so. I'll take it. I'll take it. Well, it was nice to be able to work and go to school at the same time. That was just much more up my alley. Yeah. And I, I did the same thing and I ended up kind of peeling out because uh, I was working too much and peeling back in eventually. So yes, no, we had its ebbs and flows. So now real quickly, before we dig into today's topic on, on VA loans, uh, curious, just in your experience, in a general sense, what's the biggest misconception that you see among consumers who are looking to buy a home today? You know, it's a great question. And I think the biggest one is really that down payment. Um, you know, there's great first time home buyer loans out there, but most people fear that they just don't have the 20%, you know, that you're so used to hearing. And many years ago, that was the case. Uh, but the conventional loans, FHA loans, these products have really loosened up. And um, I think as you start to look into some of the options that they have, they realize 3% maybe, that could be something doable. Um, and with rates as low as they are right now, it's pretty sweet to see the buying power that these folks have um, when they are looking at as little as 3% down. That payment still keeps everything in line. I have buyers that have that 20% and maybe you're choosing not to put that down right now because they want to keep some of their savings. So uh, yeah, 20% isn't, isn't the must. There's great options for less than that. And again, amongst those different loan programs some different guidelines as well, but there is great flexibility on that down payment. You don't have, to have a lot. Awesome. <laughs> and, and speaking of rates, how many times a day do people ask you uh, what the rates are going to look like in six months? 
Ooh, that's a good, every other phone call, probably, if not every, but yes, absolutely. That's such a good one. And I wish I had the answer. Yeah. I am after last year, it's hard to say what anything's going to do. You know, we all, I think, predicted rates would rise, all this uncertainty, and it kind of went the other way, as we saw in the numbers that the office and everybody's done last year was a good one, but yeah, right. the opposite. Rates in the two, two new. Well, so we're we're talking about VA loans today, and uh, for anyone who's unfamiliar with a VA loan, um, what is it, and how does it differ from a conventional mortgage that that people think of? So uh, the VA loan is absolutely one of my favorite loans. Um, it is available only to veterans. So you have to have military history, uh, military experience, military service, I should say, in order to take advantage of that VA loan. Um, like I said, it's just one of my favorites. I feel like it's a huge thank you when I start looking at the rates and the terms, anything we can do to give back and save these veterans a few bucks on the purchase of their new home. That's what um, Prosperity and our team wants to do. For many, many years, we've uh, waived our origination fee. We credit appraisal fees. I think there's been over four and a half million since we started doing that, that we've kind of saved these veterans over the many years. And it's pretty sweet to see. They're also some of my favorite clients too, because they're on their A game. So it makes life really, really nice. <laughs> you ask for documents and you get them. Yeah. So um, they are, they're just, it's, it's a great loan, great interest rates, a um, lot of flexibility on it. And like I said, just, just absolutely one of my favorites to push through. Awesome. Awesome. Now uh, for, for folks who uh, maybe are, are thinking about uh, accepting a VA loan? Because this is one of the things that I, I, I hear sometimes from sellers is that they, they might be uh, a little bit scared of uh, accepting a VA loan, especially in this market right now where we've got people who are offering zero contingency cash offers or zero contingency uh, conventionally financed offers. Mm -hmm. Uh, it can make a, a VA loan at first um, appear to be less uh, attractive or less competitive to some people, um, you know, and they see it as having maybe more pitfalls, but, but really, uh, you know, it, it's a quality product. Uh, what, what though are your thoughts uh, based on your experience uh, in, in dealing with so many VA loans? It's a great question. And I think the biggest, I guess, issue or what sellers or maybe listing agents worry about is the VA appraisal piece. I don't think it's, um, you know, so much from a qualifying standpoint, um, but I really think it comes down to that appraisal where they're picky. You know, they're looking at hazards, safety items, handrails missing from four or more steps, silly things yeah. like that. And when you're in comparison with maybe a conventional offer that has waived an appraisal, that takes all risk off of the seller. So it, they truly don't have to deal with it, whether the value comes in low, you know, lender required repairs aren't something that you see on that conventional side, really, unless it's something huge, which we probably know about up front anyways, what we were going to be dealing with. But yeah, the VA, they protect those veterans. They want that house to be in good order when they move into it. Um, and so... Oh gosh, I just totally lost my train of thought, Adam. I'm so glad we're recording this. Don't worry about it. Yeah, well, we'll the appraisal it. piece. Uh, we'll edit that little section out. Um, but so with the VA appraisal, it, it can be subject to there could be items that a seller might have to fix to get that appraisal piece approved, which ultimately the financing, the lending is going to go along with that. So the VA, they're just, I think, a little more picky in their appraisal piece. Um, they also have two weeks to get the job done and you can't rush them. Um, in other loan programs, we can order an appraisal on a rush. But I kind of think those items are, in my opinion, they're more like a myth. That's like old school stuff. I when you're dealing with a local lender and somebody who's got the operations and the local appraisers and VA approved underwriters on staff, we've got the ability to push those things through. So you still got the appraisal piece, but from a cumbersome loan process, we don't see that these days. And I think it's just educating these agents as I call them, as we're submitting VA offers to just let them know the flexibility and really how, I don't know, it's a little more, it's an easier loan, say an appraisal does come in low or something like that. I think there's more wiggle room on the VA than there is on um, some of your other loans. No, that's, that's a great point. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, you mentioned the, the appraisals and the, the appraisers. Now, what is, uh, what is kind of the difference between a, a conventional appraiser versus a VA appraiser? 
Great question. So your conventional appraiser, um, you know, they're kind of coming from the same pool, but the VA piece does add an extra level of, I guess, like qualifications um, that the appraiser has to have. You can actually make a, let's say we started with a VA loan and we needed to switch it to conventional for some reason. That re VA report, because it's so detailed, would actually work on a conventional loan. It doesn't go the other way because it's a little bit looser. They're not looking for peeling paint, um, things of, you know, windows, seals broken, um, again, handrails missing, some of those hazard, those safety items, health and safety items, where your conventional is going to be a little bit looser in the sense of what they're walking into the home and looking for. Um, so it's not like it's a home inspection on the VA side. It's nothing that detailed, but those appraisers do really have their eye out um, for some of those items that the VA would flag. Yeah, that makes sense. Do with value, both going to be quality on that sense. It's just some of those extra kind of subject to items that might come up on the appraisal side, on the VA side. Okay. Mm -hmm. And um, now, now the appraisal, it does uh, it does stay with the property for VA uh, appraisal. Is that correct? It is. So 120 days, four months. Okay. Yep. So if there was a VA loan that maybe didn't work out because of a low appraisal, um, that next contract that comes in, if it were to be VA, would be subject to that value as well. Understood. Good one. Now, uh, I know I know how passionate you are. You, you've already you've, you've shown us, you've told us. Um, what would you say to a seller who's maybe on the fence right now thinking about whether they want to accept VA loans in general, or whether they're looking at a conventional versus a VA where they, they like some of the, the terms of the VA better, but maybe they're just, they're just nervous. I mean, you know, what, what would you say to them if, if you were talking to them? It's a good one. And I have to do that often these days, a little bit more sell, you know, sell that VA loan, so to yeah. speak. Um, I mean, the biggest thing I think is backing up that our appraisers are local. So even though we've got the VA aspect to it, um, they've got to live within five miles of that subject property. So we have somebody that's local that knows this market. And I think that's huge when it comes to that VA loan. And, you know, some of your credit unions, they might be coming from an hour and a half hay market, West Virginia, you know, you just never know where they're coming from. So um, I always stress that piece. And the other question many times that they ask is, well, zero down, do we have any wiggle room? Should there be any appraisal value, any issues there? And, you know, it's case by case, right? Some veterans need that zero down, they've got the closing costs and that's it. Others choose to take advantage of that zero down because it's just, it's, it's a fabulous, fabulous perk of that loan, um, but have wiggle room. So when you're comparing the two, in my opinion, a conventional and say a VA, um, an appraisal that comes in low on a conventional, I'm very limited with what we call our loan to value. You know, I've got a minimum investment that this buyer has to have, and that's going to be based on the lower of the value if that appraisal does come in low. In that situation, maybe we have somebody who just has that 5% in the closing cost, but maybe doesn't have that additional 10 grand. With the VA loan, the veteran just literally is responsible potentially for any difference that could come in on that value. Maybe that 10 grand is verified. You know, we've got the assets, we're more than covered, but we structure things with zero down. So there is that wiggle room if they do need to bring a couple dollars to the table if it is low. Um, but in my opinion, the VA loan is higher on your debt to income ratios. You just have a whole lot of more flexibility, I think, on that one. Obviously, pending the borrower's qualification than I think what you might even see on a conventional one. Awesome. This, is, uh, this has been excellent information <laughs> here today. Um, any last uh, final thoughts you've got about the, uh, the VA program? You know, it's like I said, it's just a huge, all I can say is thank you to all of you veterans out there for your service. And when you look at this VA loan and where the interest rates sit, I mean, they're a good quarter, three eighths lower than where the conventional rate is right now. Uh, we're waiving our origination fee. We do a credit for the appraisal fee. There's no monthly mortgage insurance like you might have on that conventional loan with a very minimum down payment. So um, again, it's, it's truly one of my favorites um, out there and the veterans as well. Some of my favorite to work with. So this was a treat to be able to be on this call today. Well, Kelly, thank you so much for joining us. Before we uh, jump off here real quickly, tell us where we can uh, find you if we're searching around the interwebs here and, and looking online. 
Absolutely. So, um, you know, first and foremost, you can call me, email me, but that'll be connected straight through. I think it's Kelly Hesseltine PHM loans. Dot com And my last name's a funny one. So Kelly Hesseltine.bhmloans.com. I always tell everybody it's spelled he saltine like the cracker and then it all really makes sense. So anyways, um, but yes, you can, you know, contact me through the website or my email information um, that I think is below and also at the end of this little podcast here. Absolutely. Well, Kelly, it's been a pleasure having you on there today. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, We'll talk to you soon. Have you back again for uh, maybe some first time home buyer or something like that. So would love it. They're awesome. my next favorite because we get to teach them all the ways, the ins and the outs of things, you know, they've Sounds got great questions. It's wonderful. Absolutely. All right. Thanks so much, Kelly. Take care. My pleasure, Adam. Thank you. All right. Bye.